What is a national hero? It's a question that has many answers, because a national hero is many things. An inspirational leader, a selfless provider, a visionary who risks it all to better the lives of others. In Barbados, we celebrate our national heroes every year on April the 20th. And although many of them have passed on, we can't help but wonder what it would be like to talk to them today. To find out why they did what they did on the path to becoming a national hero. Welcome, Mr. Payne. Where am I? I was trying to get back to Barbados. It's total chaos there right now. Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you are in Barbados. The bad news is you are almost 80 years away from where you just were. Luckily, the riots are all over. But we don't have too much time, but there's a, a few things I would like to talk to you about. Uh, By all means. Please tell me about your upbringing. Well, let me tell you, it, it was not easy. Being born in Trinidad to Bajan parents really expanded my worldview and introduced me to the trade union movement. Although the lack of regional unity at the time led to trouble for me down the road. I assume you're talking about the immigration woes. How did this actually affect your your activism. You see, that was the principal reason for the unrest. They just up and deported me early one morning, no legal representation. Now I'm hearing that people are dying in the riots that are still raging right now. And although I'm from militant activism, I never wanted my brothers and sisters to be hurt. I mean, the most unfortunate part of the situation is that my labor meetings were built on the intention to have better living conditions, better medical access, better educational access for the poor masses. I just wish I could stand there with my brothers and sisters. Well, I am happy to inform you that the, your legacy, and the legacy of those who lost their lives, has in fact had a a very, very strong impact. A commission of inquiry was established, and his findings suggest that all your concerns were, in fact, correct. In fact, in Barbados, you are remembered as a national hero. How does that make you feel? I just wanted to create a system to lift Barbadians out of poverty and their dependence on the planter class. I wanted to make this island a better place to live, work, play. I just hope that the descendants of those who fought for the right to have a decent life is right. Meet the remaining five national heroes of Barbados in our other series, National Heroes Explored. Thank you for joining us on this journey back to the past. <laughs>